It's the time for the package from China. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we are back with a new homebrew game card from a friend from China. In this video we're going to talk about the Metal Sonic Hyperdrive. It's a game from Metal Sonic, or better said for Metal Sonic, with the Sega Mega Drive 16-bit. So for the people that know, it's one of the nemesis of Sonic the Hedgehog. In there was appearing in Sonic 2, one of the final bosses, and in Sonic 3 and Knuckles was also an enemy. But it's pretty damn awesome that you can finally play as the character. But this is not a basic hack which you can find many times in the past, but this is a completely new game. So this game is specially made by a team to make this a unique experience and play like Metal Sonic. There are two versions out there and this is one of the two. And the reason why I'm saying two version, the other one was more like a revision or a new version with many new improvements. But I just want to take a close look at the first edition. It comes in this very cheap 16-bit style cartridge, nothing special. There are some more expensive versions out there, we'll show you a little bit later in this video. But the Metal Sonic, the label itself, it looks amazing, but it looks a little bit cheesy because it was more like a front cover that is squeezed back into a label. Like previous card reviews, the colors and the print itself is not bad, but for example, the glue that needs to put the sticker on the case is not that great. But yeah, what can you expect for a $5 game? Before we're going to play the game, I just wanted to show you what's inside the shell and what are we going to get when it comes to the quality of the plastics and the PCB. Because in the end, that is just of course most important. With the quality of nowadays, you can see we don't have a big PCB inside. It's just a very tiny PCB due of the connectors and there is one tiny chip on it that contains the file. I did notice in my previous models I've reviewed, and I'm talking about three years ago, I did find some issues with the chips. I don't know if these issues are still here with the new versions, but I just want to mention it. If you want to put it back in the shell, it is not very easy. It doesn't fit perfectly. And I need to push it basically. And as you can see, it will fit eventually. And when you're putting it down, it will give a click and it's in the perfect position. But there's a little bit of a tension on the board itself. I'm not a big fan of it. As you can see, you just click them, or you click the two shells together. But it feels very flimsy. Ah, here you can see already the label is coming a little bit loose, and this is also a common problem. But it looks very nice. Maybe I can peel it off a little bit and put some new glue beneath it. But that's what you're going to get with the very cheap shells. I have quite some different versions, so there will come more reviews here on the channel. So consider subscribing, hit the little bell, because there's going to be a Sonic Adventure. But okay, I just want to do a quick side by side. I have this multi-card over here, and the reason why I'm just grabbing the multi-card, you can see the plastic is completely different with the homebrew game and the multi-card. You can see there are two screws in the back, and the plastic, I tell you, it feels way better. It feels a little bit like a very thin, flimsy plastic, and we don't have this with the multi-game card. So there's something you need to take consideration when you're buying a cheap version. Metal Sonic Hyperdrive is a very heavy modified Sonic the Hedgehog 1 game. It has been created by the Lone Devil. And what I think is pretty damn awesome, that with this game we're having brand new zones. It's all a little bit based on the Sonic CD style gameplay, the music and even the playable character. With the option we having in game mode and also the option to have a difficulty setting. What is brand new and I've never seen before when a Sonic game. But you already can see that this game comes with a character that has special moves. So for example, we have in the super peel out that already tune you when pressing up A, B or C and when pressing down A, B or C with the maximum hyper drive attack. And even if you're collecting all six emeralds and having 50 rings like with the original game, you're pressing jump and combination of one A, B or C, we are going to transform into Super Metal Sonic. What you can see with this game is that it has some new features. 
and lots of new gameplay and you can see even if this is a modified or a hack game it doesn't even matter how you want to call this for me this is just a brand new game that i needed to have back in the 90s how cool would it be if sega officially released a game with metal sonic in it But if you want to have a completely new and more challenging, you always can choose the Master Quest game. So the, this homebrew game even supports two kinds of playing modes. How cool is that? With the boss fights, we're also having a completely new challenge. It looks a little bit like the original Sonic 1 game. If you're looking at the two platforms and of course the enemies floating in the air with the big gigantic wrecking ball but the idea is maybe the same but it gives you a completely new challenge and even when you're using the master quest you're going to get a very big challenge at the end if you know the pattern it's very fun to play but still it's something new I personally really enjoyed playing this Metal Sonic Hyperdrive. It's the first model and the latest version released file they need to make in game of this. If I can find it, I will pick it up and show you here on the channel. But I am, to be honest, a little bit of a Metal Sonic Hyperdrive game fan. So yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of this. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video.